Hello folks and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a video guide tutorial about how you can remove or add background on your web camera without using green screen. This is pretty simple method, it's noob friendly so everyone can do it, it will not take you more than two minutes. As, as a bonus at the end of the video I also want to tell you how you can use your phone as a web camera if you don't have one. Again, it's easy and noob friendly steps. So let's begin first with how we can add our green screen without actually having green screen behind us. So first thing that we need to do, we need to visit zoom.us site. Then we need to make account which is completely free, download their software. And after that, this is going to be your main uh, web page. Uh, when you enter into the zoom.us uh, we want to go here and host a meeting then with a video once we click that uh, it's gonna ask us if we want to start the application we want to do that so we're gonna click open now the application will start um, if for whatever reason your camera is not picking up like you can go here and choose the camera that you have because maybe you have two cameras three cameras whatever cameras you have uh, you go here and pick it up as you can see my camera is pretty old logitech webcam c210 uh, so this is the camera right and from this software uh, with simple click we can choose a virtual background so if you want uh, to put a picture behind you no problem just uh, Take a picture from internet or from your phone, whatever. Uh, choose a virtual background, press here on the plus, add image, and you're gonna add that image. And once the image is here, you're just gonna click it, and there you go. You have a background behind you. If you want to put the green screen, uh, I'm gonna show you how. Like, I already have like three green screens, as you can see, uh, when I was uh, testing to make the video. So, I'm gonna show you how you can do that green picture as well. So you can use it on OBS and Streamlabs without any problem. So we're going to go into Google and we're going to type uh, RGB color picker. And we're going to pick some color uh, green. Let's say this one. Uh, the thing that we want to know from here is these numbers down. So we're going to copy them. And after that, we're just going to open like any pictures that we have with paint 3d right uh, we're gonna open this paint 3d we're gonna make a new one so here on the bottom right we're gonna click on the plus and here we're gonna add the code of the green that we just created so there you go this is the green color now we're gonna fill this blank white spot with green and that's it we're gonna save the picture uh, like image we're gonna put it on desktop and we're gonna name it let's say green screen green screen okay once we do that uh, we're gonna go again into our zoom meeting program we're gonna go choose virtual background we're gonna add this picture add image uh, green screen there you go and now we have green screen behind us how we will put this camera that we are seeing at the moment into OBS or Streamlabs pretty easy so you're gonna open your Streamlabs or OBS uh, gonna go here on the plus add new source and we're gonna uh, pick window capture okay window capture we're gonna name it let's say test camera yeah, test camera is fine like you can name it whatever you like it's not important just for your knowledge and now from this window here we're gonna pick zoom we're gonna pick also we do title must match and we're gonna put it on windows 10 and there you go now we have our camera i'm gonna put the camera actually around here but as you can see, the green screen is behind us. And we have these gray things on top on the bottom. How we can remove that? Pretty easy. Just hold out and then move it a bit down so like this. And then do the same at the bottom as well. If you want, you can go here too. Like you can also. 
it doesn't matter. So now we have our green screen behind us, as you see. Now we can make it transparent on just this green to disappear and the image on the stream it's gonna be behind us pretty easy. Uh, we're gonna add a filter here. So we're gonna go into filters and we're gonna add filter. It's called cover key. We're gonna press done and that's it now. See, we still see the green because the green color don't match the one that is here. What we're gonna do, we're go just gonna go into the custom color. Uh, we're gonna click here and here on the hex. We're just gonna paste the number that uh, we made and we have from this RGB color picker that we make our background with it. We're just gonna copy it again. Going into OBS or Streamlabs. I'm using Streamlabs at the moment, as you see. We're gonna paste it here. We're gonna click the cover and boom, there you go. Now we are transparent behind us. Uh, we still have these green things around our head, as you can see. Uh, you can remove it pretty easy. Again, you go on filters. Uh, and then from here, you can do your settings. Like this. And work around with the settings. Make the green disappear. Let's see. So. Okay, and now as you can see, the green color around us is not that big. Uh, you can work around and make it even um, not that big, like this one at the moment that I'm having, but even lesser. So this is how we add background. It's pretty easy, and it's like you see, it took us exactly two minutes. And if you want to add some picture or whatever, you just go into the Zoom meeting. Uh, virtual background and add a picture behind you or green screen like we did it it's easy as that uh, you can start making your videos here you can start making your videos like on the move instantly like this like no problem at all it's pretty pretty easy and fast method now uh, what I'm gonna show you as I said as a bonus I'm gonna show you how you can use your phone like you, how you can use your phone as a web camera if you don't have a web camera it's pretty easy again and it's not taking more than like one minute so what we want to do we want to go into this site site uh, dev47apps.com if you are using android phone uh, you go into google play and download uh, read cam software if you are using iphone uh, you go and download this from App Store as well. Uh, once you download the program on your phone, what we want to do is to download the client on our computer as well. So if you're using Windows, you download this one. If you're using Linux, this one. So that's it. Once you download and install the program on your phone, uh, when you start the program, it's going to look like this. I just took a screenshot of it. There is nothing that you need to config. Like there is configuration that you can do but uh, just right from the start you can do it uh, you don't need anything uh, specifically and this is the screen that you want to get once you start the program um, this is the ip address that we need to know because we're gonna use wi-fi camera like we're not gonna connect our phone with usb we can do that so we have this option so we're going to start the program on our computer also and this is the screen that is going to pop up. So as you see, device IP, uh, we're going to took this number from here, Wi-Fi IP. Because I'm on a uh, home network, so this is the IP on the camera that uh, my computer is picking up. Let me just start the program on my phone actually. Okay, I started on my program. So now you have... All you need to do is just press start and there you go now this is the this is my phone as you can see this is my monitor and my camera that is on there on the top and we can point it towards us i guess just in a second yeah we can point it towards us uh, and then we go into Zoom application again and pick up the camera, like it's called Druid Cam Source. And now 
we are using this camera from my phone as a web camera see this is the camera from my my phone it's not the camera that is on top of my computer uh, you cannot see it but yeah even like it's not more than one minute as you saw it's pretty easy every phone can do the job and like three clicks and you can have your own web camera so basically that's the video guys uh it's pretty simple you may think oh my god it's too too hard to do it but it's really just two three clicks and you can have a green screen without actually having green screen on your stream when you're doing youtube videos or whatever you're doing can you web cameras so i hope you enjoyed and it was helpful and uh, see you next time guys